So in the last video, I talked about how you can put this sketch right on this rounded face. You go to create sketch and we'll do the same exact sketch plane that we used before, but this time we're going to use project to a surface. Once you've done that, the question came up, what can you do with this? And that's such a good question because it's not really that intuitive in my opinion. So let's talk about all the things you can do with this projected sketch and what you cannot do. The bummer is that you actually can't just extrude this as a cut. Now, if you wanna just delete this and cut it through, instead of trying to use an extruded cut, just extrude cut your original. Go straight through, make sure you're in the cut command, go to the depth to where it clears it as much as you'd like. We're doing a cut. And now I've got effectively what would have been the same thing that I wanted. I wanted a straight cut all the way through, if that's what you want. Now let's look at some of the alternatives. Unfortunately, I cannot loft from this to this. It doesn't like it. It's only recognizing one entity. Unfortunately, surface delete won't work here. What will work is the split face command. So we're gonna do this face and we're gonna use the projected sketch holding command or control, selecting all the lines. And then I don't want it to extend. Here's one of the challenges. It's going to extend it, which I don't love. In my case, I want it to be along a vector. The vector can be this axis like we used earlier. I'll choose the axis that I want for the vector or a plane. When I click and hold, I'm going to use the X and there's my vector. That looks good. We'll click OK. It splits this face, but it is giving me a warning. Now, because I have the split face, I could come up to surface and choose the delete command. What this does is it removes just this one face, leaving you a surface body for the rest of it, which is kind of cool. So the split face command does work well with our projection. The other thing you can do is a sweep. So if I came in with a plane along path, and I choose this line or this projected line. We could start at this corner. I think we could start just about anywhere. I'm gonna start a sketch on this new plane and do, you know, a circle. This circle is gonna follow this projected sketch as our path. So we'll finish that and now we'll go to sweep. We'll follow along this path. We'll go all the way around and this works okay. So if I come back to the split command, the split face, and we do this, and so we have this split face, we now can use this as a cutter. I'll hit Q for our press pull, and I'll select this. I don't wanna use automatic, it doesn't always solve. I'm gonna do a new offset. And what this'll do is it's letting us go through. So it's giving a very different cutting direction. The vector is more normal to our profile. So when I click OK, it uses that as a cut. You can see these angled faces here instead of if we were to cut through that vector. So it's giving me a different result, which is kind of cool. So you can you know, use the split face command once it's projected. I hope that helps. I'll see you guys in the next video.